have our own specific convening, which has been done because we've insisted on our own space since we are so unique. And we said, you know, our issues are unique to us and we need to have our own convening space. Ensuring that specific women's human rights defenders voices when it comes to decolonizing sexual and reproductive health and rights, gender climate justice and this so forth issues that we are going in with will not be watered down. Over the course of the next two days, our priority is ensuring that when we gather in Kilgali in July to discuss gender equality, we share your voices, your lived experiences through true first-hand reflections of work, family and community that you live in every day. Having spaces and conferences like this that is co-developed, co-designed and co-implemented is critical in shifting powers we always say in the feminist movement, we will never give up on ourselves, on other species and this beautiful planet, and the loss and damage that we're facing, not just in Pacific Island countries, but across the world, is really scary and a worrying time for all, but that we're trying to hold the joy and the strength in the way that we're organizing together. So that work continues through Women Deliver 2023, but much broader and deeper as social movements. All funding is political. So if all funding is political, political here I understand as power structured relationship and we are about disrupting power, reshaping power, why isn't all funding feminist funding? I am sure other First Nations women here from across the world can see and feel the similarities and of course know intimately their own stories of the ongoing devastating process of colonisation. We are the women who continue to work at the front line, locally putting ourselves in the firing line, nationally and internationally calling for change. I'm very inspired too by the level of Indigenous participation in this Women Deliver event, I have to say, and the fact that our voices are being enabled and we have utility by being able to speak for ourselves and represent our tribal communities who we will never die, we will never go away. That's not our constitution. So what can we do differently? Innovative solutions and I think that comes in collaboration, what I'm seeing in this room today. Governments, non-government organisations, your knowledge about the lived experiences of women is so important in informing the strategic interventions of governments at national level. We have so much to learn from each other. And I feel that this space is the perfect space. It is so important for us to keep coming together and to keep on talking, to keep on having uncomfortable conversations and to think of solutions together.